Oh, shit, you're back. All right, so welcome back, children of the tech. Hopefully, you're not as crazy as children of the corn because there's some crazy motherfuckers out there. So hopefully, you children of tech are much better. So what's going on? Welcome back once again to Tech of Tomorrow. I'm Eric, your host, and we've got some news for you folks. It seems like some overzealous salespeople in other countries have started selling. That's right, the Risen 5 CPUs, and there's been some stuff leaked. That's right. So now the 1600 has been tested by some off-the-wall site. I'm not exactly sure of who they are. Are. I can't really endorse their test scores, but if you guys are interested in just seeing some early results from, you know, kind of a site that's out there, then this is your chance. Now, Tech Power Up's a site out there ran by this guy named Wizard. He, like, actually posted up the news of this, so I saw it online. I actually contacted AMD and was like, what the hell? These guys are breaking NDA. What the heck's going on? And real quick, if you guys don't know what NDA is, NDA stands for Non-Disclosure Agreement. And there was a lot of confusion on my RX 480 that thought that I had broke NDA. Now, I admit that I ended up breaking NDA, but as you can see, I'm getting the test kits. It was unintentional. I apologize to AMD and I apologize to you folks. I honestly thought that the NDA was at 12 midnight. And after looking at the paperwork and everything, AMD agreed as well. And so that's why I'm back on the test system. Now, sure, I'd like to buy all my own stuff, but if I can work with a company and get the stuff and do it completely legit, I'd rather do that. It's better for me, it's better for you. But if you're a person out there and you just want to see, hey man, what does somebody have to say about the 1600? Well, there's been some people that have posted reviews. We'll have links down below to them. Now, it does seem though like the Ryzen 5 is performing exactly kind of what we, you know, we thought it was going to perform like. A little bit lower than the high-end i7s and a little bit lower than the high-end i5s. But still, a totally competitive CPU. For the price range I think it's going to be selling at, I think it's going to be something great. So for those people out there, I have to say just from initial results, and if these results are actually true, it seems like the Risen 5 is a damn good CPU. Now, me being under NDA, I cannot give you guys any scores whatsoever until the 11th when the time arrives. Believe me, I'd like to bring you those things. Now, AMD has told me though that the 1500X and 1600X CPUs are not for sale or not sampled to anybody out there who are breaking NDA. So if you're looking for the actual scores for those two CPUs, which I think you are, you're gonna have to wait for the release date. But for now, if you're an early bird and you wanna see the information, like I said, the 1600 has been leaked I can't endorse the site, but hey, they might be totally legit. I don't know them, so I can't say anything good or bad about them. But that's it, folks. So we got those scores for you. We'll have a link down below where you guys can check those out for yourself if you want to. And for those who are still waiting for the 1500X and the 1600X, well, hold on to your proverbial hat because I'll have it here for you guys tech tomorrow, right in the morning, right when NDA lifts. So peace out, and we'll see you guys back on the channel for more Risen 5 stuff coming soon.